Everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of x. Then we have the square root of x, multiplying by square root of x. Multiplying by square root of x, this is equal to 27. So what is the value of x? Now, let's provide a solution from here. Now, we are going to solve this problem by applying two methods. Let's start with method 1. Let's start with method 1. So we have the square root of x multiplying by square root of x multiplying by square root of x here yeah. then multiplying by square root of x this is equal to 27. The first step is to, to square both signs. The first step is to square both signs so that now we can eliminate the first square root sign so that now we have x multiplying by square root of x multiplying by square root of x multiplying by square root of x so this is equal to 27 to the power of 2 the next step is to square again on both sides so that now here we have x to the power of 2 so we have x to the power of 2 multiplying by now we eliminate the second square root sign so multiplying by x, x is raised to the power of 1, then times square root of x, multiplying by square root of x, this is equal to 27 to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, this is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n, multiplying by m. Now applying this exponent property, then here we have 27, raised to the power of 2 times 2, which is 4. The next step is to square again on both sides. So that now, here we have x to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2. So we have x to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, multiplying by x to the power of 1, raised to the power of 2. So we have x to the power of 1, raised to the power of 2, multiplying by we eliminate the third square root sign from here so that this is x and remember x is raised to the power of 1 then multiplying by square root of x this is equal to 27 raised to the power of 4 times 2 which is 8. Now we have that this is x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 so this is x to the power of 4 multiplying by x to the power of 2 then multiplying by x to the power of 1, multiplying by square root of x, this is equal to 27, raised to the power of 8. The next step is that x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 1, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have x raised to the power of 4 plus 2 plus 1 multiplied by square root of x. This is equal to 27 raised to the power of 8. Now, this implies we have x to the power of 4 plus 2. This is 6 plus 1. This is 7. So this is x to the power of 7 times square root of x. This is equal to 27 to the power of 8. Now we have x to the power of 7 times square root of x. This is equal to 27 to the power of 8. So the next step again is to square on both sides. So that now, here we have x to the power of 7 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by... Now square root of x to the power of 2, this means that we eliminate the square root side. So times x, remember this x is raised to the power of 1. This is equal to 27 raised to the power of 8 times 2, which is equal to 16. So this implies that here we have x to the power of 7 times 2. This is 15, 14. We have x to the power of 14 times x to the power of 1. This is equal to 27 raised to the power of 16. So again, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n plus m. 
So here we have, on the left-hand side, we have x to the power of 14 plus 1. This is 15. So we have x to the power of 15. This is equal to 27 to the power of 16. Now we can express 27. This is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. So we have x to the power of 15. This is equal to 3 to the power of 3, then raised to the power of 16. So this means we have x to the power of 15. This is equal to 3 to the power of 16 times 3, which is 48. Now the next step is to multiply on both sides by 1 over 15. This is equal to 3 raised to the power of 48 multiplied by 1 over 15. So let's simplify here. 15 and 15 simplifies. So that now we have x is equal to, now this is 3 to the power of 48 over 15. Now we can simplify 48 and 15 here. 48 divided by 3, this is 16. And then 15 divided by 3, this is 5. So now we have that the value of x here is equal to 3 to the power of 16 divided by 5. So this is the solution here for the value of x by applying method 1. So let's proceed to method 2 from here. Now for method 2, we have the square root of x multiplied by square root of x multiplied by square root of x multiplied by square root of x. This is equal to 27. Now, this is in the form of square root of a, which we can express as a to the power of a half. Square root of a is the same thing as a to the power of a half. Now, the second part here we have square root. This is the double square root of a, which we can express as a to the power of a half raised to the power of a half. And this is equal to a raised to the power of 1 over 4. Now, here we have the third square root. Remember, this x is under the square root sign here. So this is the same thing as square root, square root, square root of a. This is the same thing as a to the power of a half, raised to the power of a half, then raised to the power of a half, which is equal to a to the power of a half times a half. This is 1 over 4 times a half. So this means this is 1 over 8. So it's, this is a to the power of 1 over 8. And lastly, we have the square root, square root, square root, square root of a. And this is a to the power of a half, raised to the power of a half, raised to the power of a half, and lastly, raised to the power of a half. This x is under 4 square root sign. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So this way here, we have a to the power of 1 over 16. Now, this means that here we have x to the power of a half multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 4, then times x to the power of 1 over 8. And lastly, we have x to the power of 1 over 16. This is equal to 27. Now, x to the power of a half times x to the power of 1 over 4, times x to the power of 1 over 8, times x to the power of 1 over 16. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n plus m. So this implies that here we have x to the power of, now, the LCM here is equal to 16. So we have 16 divided by 2, this is 8 times 1. This is 8, then plus 16 divided by 4, this is 4 times 1, this is 4, then plus 16 divided by 8, this is 2 times 1, which is 2, and then plus 16 divided by 16, this is 1 times 1, this is 1, this is equal to 27. Now this implies again we have x to the power of 8 plus 4, this is 12, 12 plus 2, this is 14, 14 plus 1, this is 15, so we have 15 over 16, this is equal to 27. The next step is that we can express 27. This is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. So we have x to the power of 15 over 16 
this is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now, to solve for x here, we multiply both signs by, this is 15 over 16. So let's multiply both signs by 16 over 15. This is equal to 3 to the power of th 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 16 over 15. So let's simplify here. 16 and 16 simplifies, and 15 and 15 here simplifies. So we have that x is equal to, again here, we can simplify 15 and 3. Remember 15 divided by 3, this is 5. So we have x equal to 3 to the power of 16 over 5. So this is the value of x by applying method 2. So thank you for watching. Kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.